Okay, today we are going to be showcasing the world versus world game type in Guild Wars 2. Uh, so world versus world is basically a PvP sort of game type, but it's basically built around your guilds. So there's four uh, four bases or forts, kind of like they're all castles, and so you know, so there's your castle, which is where your guild is, or several guilds. And some sort of alliance. There's not really alliances though. It's the same sort of characteristics that would be in a uh, WoW sort of thing. Uh, so basically, no. It's got three enemies, which are there. And then there's, there's your base. And then there's this center area, which is like the main area where most people kind of fight. They sort of collide there. But kind of more normally, you kind of go to the other base. And it's based around being sort of more of a siege. So you kind of have to take out, like, there. you have to take out this huge door, which, you know, is, of course, in front of the castle. And it takes a really long time to take out, though, which gives uh, the defending, you know, guild uh, a lot of time to get, like, a group going there to go and, you know, stop you guys from taking out that door. Uh, I'm not sure if if you guys all leave and then come back if the door is still at the same you know amount of damage, or you know if it just like starts healing back up after a while. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works. Maybe it does. Um. Yeah. That's, I don't know. There's not much else to say. So there's a center area, and then there's three. Um. There's like two. You fight in two. You know different biomes. Because, like, two are in a snow biome. One is, like, half snow, half earth. You know, grass, whatever. And then there's one which is more grassy. Uh, they probably should have made the biomes more spreadable. Maybe, like, a more earthy, rocky kind of one, maybe, for one of the bases, maybe. I don't know. Then one that's kind of, like, surrounded by mountains and stuff. Something like that. Uh, I'm just saying. So that's basically how World vs. World goes. Not much else to say, I guess. Um, you also get these huge, like, ogre trolls, you know, kind of things. Like, and they'll, they'll travel with your kind of group. And you'll to help you bust down, like, the door. Uh, so, I mean, as you can see here, uh, the defenders, they're, like, they're taking, yeah, they came. And they're, like, stopping, you know, the attackers from you know, destroying the door, and it, it takes a while, and so they've had this time to group up and get o travel over there to, like, stop them, and it took them a while to get here, so chances are, you know, they were all sieging, you know, like, another castle, fort, base, whatever, so that's kind of my, my personal description of how World vs. World works, I think several guilds can own one castle, like, they own s separate little camps and things, like near inside the castle too which benefit like only members of that guild too specifically so it's basically how world versus world works uh yeah <coughs> and as far as i know it's also it's also not really based on your level either so i, I don't think it really matters exactly what level you are you know to like be part of that uh you know war going on so to join like that guild so that's you know all i have to say i guess on the world versus world in guild wars 2 so yeah that's my coverage uh bye i guess